When you want to restring and set up your Sadowski bass, this video will guide you through the entire process. At first, tape up the finish beneath the bridge to prevent scratches. Remove the old strings by loosening them one at a time. You can do that by hand, but a string winder will make the process much faster. Do not cut the strings before loosening them. Take the strings off at the tuning machines and then release the ball end at the quick release recess, which is featured on all Sadowski bridges. With the strings removed, you have the opportunity to clean the fingerboard if needed. Maple fingerboards have a finish on them and can be cleaned with any light, non-oily, non-abrasive guitar polish. Natural wood fingerboards without a finish coating, like Rosewoods, Murado, or Ebony, only require cleaning and oiling once or twice a year. This is also an excellent time to clean the face of the base underneath the strings. Use a soft brush to dust off the pickups and the bridge and clean the finish with a lightly damp cloth or guitar polish. Always spray the polish on the cloth, not directly on the guitar. Dry with a soft cloth when done. We ship our bases with our medium gauge stainless strings, ranging from 0.045 to 0.105 on our four string models, and from 0.045 to 0.130 on our five string models. We have a strong preference for a taped B string for a well-defined and clear note. If you choose to use a B string without a tapered core, you will need to adjust the action and intonation. When restringing your Sadowski bass, you should start with the thickest string, saving the thinner ones for last. Bend the strings at the ball end for better retention. Pull the strings through the holes in the bottom of the bridge or use the quick release feature, having the ball end secured in the recess. Now place the string on the saddle and run it along the neck. Measure approximately two to three machine heads longer than the one for the string. Cut the string to the proper length with the cutter specifically sold for cutting strings. You will damage regular wire cutters if you cut strings with them. Place the string end in the machine head post, bend it and begin winding. Make sure you wind towards the bottom of the string post, all while keeping tension on the string. For the B or E string, not using the string retainer, we recommend three complete wraps with the windings moving toward the bottom of the string post. This permits proper string pressure on the Sadowski Just a Nut 3. For strings going through the string retainer, two wraps is sufficient. Keep in mind that new strings will take a while to stretch out and may need to be retuned until they have settled. Pull on the strings several times and retune to help them to settle in. New strings can change the action or tension on the neck, so a truss rod adjustment may be needed. If you aim for a thinner or thicker string gauge, or if you want to use an alternate tuning, the neck and intonation may need to also be readjusted. Here is how you do that. The truss rod is a metal rod on the inside of the neck which counters the tension from the strings. It also enables fine tuning of the neck due to changes in humidity. A truss rod is not used to adjust action. It is used to adjust the straightness of the neck prior to adjusting the action at the bridge. Without a truss rod, the neck of your base would bow forward when tension is put onto the strings. If you prefer lower tunings or lower tension strings, your truss rod may need to be adjusted to prevent a back bow, which may cause your strings to buzz in the first position. To check the straightness of your neck, you will need two business cards which combine to about 0.6 millimeters in thickness and a capo. Put the capo on the first fret and press down the string at the 12th or last fret with your finger. Now measure the gap between the string and the 6th fret using the business cards. The cards should easily slide with little friction. If your right hand attack is on the lighter side, a single business card will be good. If you have a heavier right hand attack, you may need up to two business cards to avoid excessive fret buzz. To adjust the truss rod, you will need a three millimeter Allen key, which is included with each base. To increase the gap space, turn the Allen key counterclockwise. Turn clockwise to decrease the gap space. 
After each small adjustment, which is about an eighth of a turn, measure the gap to prevent over and under tensioning. Adjusting the truss rod of your base can change the action and intonation of your base, so this will be the next step. If your base is difficult to play or buzzes too much, you may need to adjust the string height at the bridge. It is important that you first go through the steps to make sure your truss rod is properly adjusted before changing anything at the bridge. All Sadowski bases are equipped with the Sadowski Just a Nut 3, which allows for more precise adjustment than a traditional nut. On the other end is the Sadowski Bridge System, which allows you to individually move each saddle to set up your instrument to your own personal preferences. Remember that the nut only affects the open strings. Any buzzing or other action issues on a fretted note needs to be addressed at the bridge. To adjust the nut, you will need a 0.9 millimeter Allen key, which is included with each base, and a single business card, which is about 0.3 millimeters for measuring the gap. Press down on the third fret and use the business card to measure the gap between the string and the first fret, making small adjustments until the card slides easily between them with little friction. Make the same adjustments on the other side. It is often easier to adjust the nut by feel and playing. You want the nut to be as low as possible without causing buzzing on the open strings with a normal attack. If you are getting buzzing on the open strings, raise the nut just enough to stop the open string buzz. If the action feels too stiff at the first fret, lower the nut until it feels comfortable without causing buzzing. It is a delicate balance to achieve. For adjusting the bridge, you will need a 1.5 mm Allen key for adjusting the saddles and a precision ruler to measure the string height. The bridge's saddles will follow the curve of the fingerboard with the middle saddles being higher than the outside ones. Using the 1.5 mm Allen key, you can now lower or raise the saddles of the bridge by turning it clockwise or counterclockwise. Press down the string on the first fret and measure the gap between the bottom of the string and the top of the 12th fret with the precision ruler. We recommend a string height of 1.6 millimeters to 2 millimeters, or 4 64ths of an inch to 5 64ths of an inch for the G string, and 2.4 millimeters, or 6 64ths of an inch for the E string. The B strings should be between 2.4 and 2.8 millimeters or 6 64ths of an inch to 7 64ths of an inch, depending on your attack. When you are finished, tune your instrument again and give it one last playthrough, ensuring it plays easily without any fret buzz. The final step is to adjust the intonation. This may vary due to the gauge, type, and brand of your strings and your neck and action adjustments. To adjust your intonation, you will need a Phillips screwdriver and a good tuner. With your bass plugged into the tuner, hold the bass in normal playing position and play an open string followed by the 12th fret using normal finger pressure as you would if you were playing. If the fretted octave is sharp, move the saddle away from the neck. If the fretted octave is flat, move the saddle toward the neck. Repeat the process until the fretted note and open string match. The last step is to adjust the pickup height. Press down on the highest fret of your base and measure the gap between the pickup and the bottom of the string. Sadowski recommends a distance of 3.17 millimeters for the B or E string and 2.38 millimeters for the G string. Now you're set and ready to go. If you own an older Sadowski or any other F-style bass which doesn't feature the Sadowski Just a Nut 3 and you want to upgrade, check out our tutorial.